Hello, my name is Goldie and welcome to In Your Element. All of our shows have been created to support your consciousness through these times of change. So please like, subscribe and notify so that we can go through these changes together. Today, we'll be releasing Emotions, Mental Books and a Lack of Creativity to explore our adventurous spirit. When we're working within our four elemental bodies, our adventurous spirit represents the fire element and this will be our focus for the day. Today, we'll be showing three conscious parenting tools to resolve this issue. The first tool is awareness, as awareness is your reality and everything you know. When you expand your awareness, you can see your own truths, your conditioning and your programming. As a parent, to understand your child's fussy eating, you must first understand your own relationship with food. How is your relationship with food as a child? Did you experience fears around food? Are you a fussy eater? What thoughts are you thinking when you're making your child's food? Are they happy, sad or angry? Thoughts are things and whatever you're thinking and feeling goes into your child's food. Take a minute to answer all these questions into a journal. Once you discover your own relationship with food, you can change your experience and reality. For more ways to be creative with your child, see the Vargas video on In Your Element TV channel on cleansing the sacral chakra. The second tool is having fun with food, as this focuses on increasing a child's comfort level, exploring and interacting with food in a playful and non-stressful way. Modern games such as messy play, using spaghetti creating funny hairstyles and characters, using different sources on a board and playing a car racing game to see which car goes faster. Using the elements of fire, making campfires and doing cooking with different foods such as strawberry s'mores, cinnamon toast, popcorn and many more to ignite your child's interests. Fun with food allows your child to explore different textures and smells. The idea is for your child to touch and taste if they want to and explore food in a fun way. Have fun with this and get creative. The third tool is putting vibrational frequencies into your food. Maybe you want to put different frequencies such as love, confidence and empowerment. Using frequencies such as courage, passion, creativity and motivation. You can do this simply by the power of imagination. Imagine these frequencies and infusing into your child's food when you're cooking, setting the table, or before they eat. Put that fire into your child's food to ignite them and spark them with joy. Please give us your feedback on how these processes have worked for you. If you have any specific requests or conscious ideas, please write a note in our comments. Contact us via our website or social media platforms. Bye for now.